<coughs> okay, welcome back to new uh, root tutorial. In the last video we learned how we create um, uniform distributed uh, data with a, a random generator implemented in root. Now we go one step further and we create Gaussian distributed data, which is very close to what we also measure in most of the experiments. Um, so before doing this, we make a copy of an old file, uh, toot3.c, and now we call it toot6.c uh, as a new file name, um, because we continue what we have done at that time. Uh, if you remember correctly, we uh, read out a file, data.txt, and plotted these data uh, in, with a an histogram. And uh, we said uh, that this was a um, distribution of grades in a class. So <coughs> now we, um, we first want to create uh, randomly distributed data. Um, so we use the same random generator that we used last time, trandom2, and we call the object again rand. And um, then uh, we say that this um, uh, we want to take um, a, s a specific seed, let's suppose just three. Um, and again, we make a for loop like last time. So uh, for int i equal to zero, i smaller 1000 events we want to create. Um, so um, we can do it exactly as we have done it last time. But um, we, this time we will not use the function rndm because this creates uniform uh, distributed data. We want to create Gaussian data. So we have to use the <coughs> function Gauss. And the first parameter defines the mean value of this distribution. Let's suppose 5. And the second parameter <coughs> uh, defines the standard deviation, the sigma value of the Gaussian. So uh, let's just define it as 1 for the time being. And again, we store this in a variable. Uh, we call it r. And um, we could directly uh, plot this data with an histogram, but we want to go one step further. And first, we create a file. We store all the data in to inside this file. And then we read out this file and plot it in a histogram. So we can pretend that we have real data, but of course, we generated this before with a random generator. So um, <coughs> we can copy um, the F stream. command um, before this uh, for loop and um, the same thing which we have done here we have to open the file but this time we want to write out the data so we have to use iOS out um, <coughs> and then we uh, we just have to write every single value that we create into this file uh, and at the end, after the loop has finished, we have to close the file. This is very important to put the cursor back to the beginning of the file. And then we basically open it again, uh, this time with iOS in. And then the same thing happens, uh, which also last time happened. Of course, these are not grades now. Uh, so we um, just call this um, arbitrary distribution. Um, this could be, for example, in particle physics, we are dealing uh, very often with invariant masses of decaying particles, uh, or this could be an x, y, z distribution, so anything basically. Um, <coughs> so, uh, and of course, the histogram uh, we will start not start uh, from, from one, we will start from zero and we go up to ten. And uh, let's, uh, let's uh, define hundred bins. So <clears throat> now we can test it. Oh, of course, one thing I have forgotten, the name of the fu uh, of the function. We have to call it 26. So now we can try what happens when we run the script. And uh, <clears throat> it says uh, there is an error. Of course, something is wrong. We edited the wrong file. So uh, we can copy paste this undo all changes, save this, and now we open the correct file uh, to 6.c.
and we insert all the values from before and now we start it again and uh, yeah the here's a typing mistake so this should be of course a capital R T random 2 now we can start it and we see um, that here uh, in we have a quite uniform distribution between 0 and 1 um, <coughs> so there is still a mistake we take a look at the output file data dot txt and yeah what we forgot is endl for end line so it creates a new uh, line and here we have it yeah. so um, this is our data that we just created and then we read out and plot in a histogram and to see that this is really Gaussian distributed we can uh, make a fit so you can click on tools on fit panel and on uh, yeah so everything here you can define some parameters you can define the function that you want to fit in this case a gauss but you can also plot uh, you can also fit uh, polynomials for example um, <coughs> you can uh, set different initial values but the uh, uh, experience shows that in such a case all the values um, that are preset are you, uh, normally working very well so we can just uh, click on fit and you see it makes a Gaussian fit, a chi-square fit basically and in the terminal then you see all the important values the constant, this is basically the area under this um, under this uh, graph so it means the integral the mean value is close to 5 exactly what we also defined as a mean value and the sigma is uh, very close to uh, 9 times 10 to the power minus 1 so it means close to uh, 1 and yeah this shows that uh, we can create um, Gaussian data we can write it in a file we can read it back and we can plot it so we basically as I said before we pretend that this is real measured data so in the next video then I will go a little bit more into detail about how to make fits in a, in a good way how to set initial parameters and so on and uh, then one can also um, try a little bit uh, to play with other kind of fit models like polynomial, linear regression and so on. So um, please stay tuned. I will, um, as I said before, I try to publish now more regularly and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.